Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Discaga 7 Vows of the Virtualist for the PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch and PC. The story of Discaga 7 Vows of the Virtualist is simple and that's the challenge the Triangle Demo Door Opener and his demonic magistrates. Fuji and his friend must gather seven powerful weapons of legend. The alliance will be a roller coaster through the trials and tribulations. Now the graphics in the game is basically in a 32-bit style when it comes to the battles, which gives it an old school feeling to it. Now when it comes to walking around and talking to the people graphically, it's updated to almost modern to a degree. The music in the game is great. The music gives that fun feel like a kid again feel to it with a mix of action again. Now when it comes to the dialogue, it's mostly in the text sense, but it do have some of the cutscenes that have that voice talk to it, but it's not by much in a way. Now when it comes to the movement, it's basically, it's not 3D, so you can't move the game around, so it's not in that 3D sense to it. The whole overall presentation is cool, it's not nothing to be wild about. The Saga 7 Vows of the Virtualist is a turn-based RPG game. Basically, if you play games like XCOM or Baldur's Gate, then you will get the gist of what the gameplay is about. Now, like any other RPGs out there, you go from hitting the enemy until your turn is over for the enemy to, to actually attack. Some of the attacks can miss you, but most of the time you will get hit with an attack. After the sequence of events, you end up getting experience points and leveling up, which is very simple enough. Outside of the battles, you get to talk to a lot of people, which most of the game lies with, within when it comes to most of the gameplay. You have super long dialogues to get into the story side of it, along with other things. You get to find weapon upgrades along with the health side of the game. The biggest flaw that I have to say about the Skaga 7 is the fact that just like a lot of games from NIS is that there is too much dialogue going on over the gameplay aspects to it. It does get overwhelming with reading so much of the dialogue feeling like it's a visual novel over the game. Another big issue that I have with this game is that you can't change the gameplay that is actually stagnant and sometimes it does get complexity of the buttons when it comes to switching where to move and how to move. I just wish they made it more balanced for the new gamers whereas it was more complex to formulate the movement and the hits to the enemies which I feel like they should have did more of. This isn't a bad game it's just some of the things that they need to improve more on. They should make the, this actual series into more of an action RPG and bring more people into the fold. For that I give the Skaga 7 Vows of the Virtualist a 3 out of 5. Thank you for tuning into the best place for independent gaming journalism and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and please subscribe to the channel.